Okay, so to find summary statistics with the TI-83 calculator, first obviously turn the calculator on. Um, this is an emulated calculator, so give me a second. All right, there we go. Um, <clears throat> I'll move the display down a little bit so that you won't be able to see the on, zero, period, or um, decimal, negative, and enter buttons, but I'll show you them when they're necessary. First, put in the, the list. I've uh, put a list over here of numbers we can use as an example. You go into list by hitting the stat button. So I'm going to type stat and choose one. You can press the one or you can just hit enter since you see it's already selected. I'll just press the one button. I've already got some lists in here. Let me um, arrow over to list one since I said um, in my instructions that's what I was going to use. You can uh, delete these items in the list one at a time by hitting delete. Um, or you can go up to the name of the list and there's several lists automatically um, placed in here and you can make more lists on your own if you'd like and you can call them whatever you want. Going back to list one, if you're on the list title, whatever it is, hit clear. Don't hit delete because it'll delete the list and then I can show you how to, how to get that list back. And then hit enter or um, press the button. Okay, so now I have a cleared list, and I'm going to put in my numbers. I'm going to I'm going to save you the time of having to watch me put all those in. So just a second, and I'll well, I'll show you the first one. So I'm I'm going to type 14.5, and put that one in, and now I'm ready for the second item of my list one. So I'm going to put the rest in. As I go to put these last two entries in, I wanted to make a comment. So my last two entries are 18.5 and 19. Um, Let's suppose that you're um, given the numbers as fractions, and instead of 18.5, they had given you 37 halves. When you're entering these, these items in the list, you can type them in as an operation, like 37 divided by 2, and it will turn it into the 18.5. So if they're given as um, operations or expressions, you can type them in um, as those, and it'll calculate the number out and leave the number in the entry. Um, also, with something like 19.0, I really can just put 19 because that's all it's going to do with it anyways. If it's you know, 0 .0 and there's an insignificant number there, it won't use it. All right, so I've got my entire list in, and I'll go through to the top. As I uh, select the, the name of the list, I can see that this is list 1, and it equals the set of all numbers 14.5, 14.7, 15.3, and it's all the numbers that... Um, that we had put in over here. All right, now these other lists, if they are making you paranoid because they're there and you, you'd rather have them not be there, you can clear them. Um, suppose you, you just don't want to see them, hit clear, hit enter. Just don't hit delete because delete will remove the list and then we can get it back, but it's, it's, um, it's a headache you don't want to have to fix. It's not that much of a headache actually. All right, so clear when you're on the list title is the, is the button you want, and um, delete if you just want to delete an actual item in the list. All right, okay, I'm going to intentionally leave list two there because I want to show you how this works. So now I'll go back to the home screen. You can hit second mode, which is going to quit this page, and now you're back on the home screen. Or you could have just hit stat, because now I'm going to hit stat, arrow right over to calculate, and then I'm going to choose one, or just hit enter because I'm already choosing one. I'm already selecting one right there. So I'm going to hit one, and then hit second and one because I know that the um, shortcut to the list one is right there by hitting the second button and the number one on the key. And that will give me my shortcut to list one. And hit enter, it'll run all my summary statistics. It's got my x bar, which is my sample mean. This was a sample. So I can actually ignore this um, sigma notation because that doesn't apply here. We want little s. So here's the information it gives you. It gives you x bar, which is the, the sample mean. And that does make sense. If you look at the numbers, we expected it to come somewhere in there around probably 16.6. 6, it gives you the sum of all the, the numbers that were in there. It gives you the sum of all of their squares. So it squares each of them as a separate list, and then it adds all those up. It gives you that sum. These two items are helpful if you're doing shortcuts to find the standard deviation or variance or for other reasons. Then it gives you the um, s of x. So this is supposed to be little s of your set x, meaning it's the sample standard deviation. 
Then there's an, an arrow. Oh, sorry, also n. n is 10. There's 10 items. There's an arrow going down, and you arrow down. And you'll see it also tells you the minimum value. In case this wasn't sorted data, that would have been helpful. I actually had mine sorted. It tells you uh, the first quartile, the median. So that's the second quartile, the median, or percentile 50, P50. It gives you Q3, the third quartile, or percentile 75, 75th percentile. And it gives you the max. Again, if it wasn't sorted, that would have been harder to tell. And if there were more than 10 items, it would have been much harder to tell. All right, pretty easy, isn't it? So now, if I wanted to find the uh, sample statistics for that other list that I had in there, I could just hit stat again, go back to calculate, hit number one, or just hit enter because I'm already on it, and then just choose the different list. So this time I'm going to hit second and then the number two, and it'll, it'll do the summary statistics for that list number two. And uh, I don't, you didn't really see the list, but anyways, it's showing you here the mean would have been 41.1 if you rounded it. Uh, and I hope that's clear. If